Hi, I'm Gina with the Madison Library District and I am here to do the STEAM activity with you. So this is what you need. You need the packet that has markers and paper towels. You should have four of them in there. And you will also need a pan or a 9 by 13 pan and you will need some water and a scratch piece of paper and if you want to further the experiment you can get some tissue paper some tissues or regular paper and i'll show you what to do with those too so the first thing you want to do is separate your paper towels you have four of them so you can do four pieces of art or experiment with and make sure it's folded in half you can crease it if you want to we kind of creased it just like this and I have a paper under here because we're going to draw and you open up the bottom part like this and I'm going to take my markers and I'm going to do let's see I have green and I have pink and I have yellow so I think I'm going to do some chicks I'm terrible at drawing okay I'm sure you are much better at it and I'm going to do like this and do some chicks like this and do a little beak. We'll color it in. Okay, there's our chick. Okay, with a little, a little wing like that. Okay, and maybe I'll draw a flower on this side. You can draw whatever you want, but this is my flower. I'm color it in and I'm going to draw stem okay then I am going to do the top part here let me show you what I did here I had a piece of scratch paper underneath here so that it doesn't go through to a tablecloth or anything like that. Then I'm going to draw on the top side. So I'm going to draw some grass. Okay, there's the grass. And I think I'm going to do a sun right up here in the corner. And I think I want to use, maybe I'll do some birds flying, just like this, on this other side right here. Okay, now here's the magic part. You're going to take your pan, fill it full of water. Not too much, you don't need a lot. Then you put your picture. Okay, I'm going to do it this way for you. And you soak it in there. You see how it transferred through? Amazing! Isn't that cool? So now you can see all the different layers of your picture. And you can do fish or whatever you want to do with it. But the fun part is, is to see if it will work with different types of paper. So I'm going to pull this out. Even though our water is still a little bit colored. And I'm going to try it on regular paper. So do you see how I'm just pushing this through here? We're going to look and see if it will work with regular paper. This time, I'm going to write a message. I love you. And then on the top, I'm going to put purple hearts. So 
So you really can draw whatever you want to draw. I'll put a big one down here. Do you think this will go through? I don't know. We're going to give it a try. This is an experiment day. So you can choose the different kinds of paper that you want to do. And this water is a little bit green. <laughs> We can dilute it with some more. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see if it works. Will it go through? No. So it doesn't work with regular paper. It's not going to soak through. I wonder if it will soak through through time. So you can kind of see that I love you underneath there. And you have to leave it up. Do you see? It's like a hidden message. And now it's starting to appear. That's really cool. So you can try this with all different types of paper. You can use different types of paper towels. We used some generic paper towels, did not work really well. We also tried the paper towels that we have in the bathrooms here. And you could try it with napkins and you could try it with tissue paper and see what kind of pictures and messages you can make. Have fun.